Hey YouTube, hey, this is uh, going to be a video on a couple of inexpensive Myrco collaboration models. Uh, I know there's a, a few videos of these already up and uh, many of the guys that I actually subscribe to also have videos for these. I have to say that um, I'm actually pretty impressed with these ones, especially considering the cost. The uh, Kirby Lambert one, uh, the Shockwave model, I actually got for about 50 bucks shipped. And uh, the Greg Lightfoot Catch Dog, I actually purchased for about $25 shipped. So, for what you're getting, it's actually uh, a really good price. And um, what you'll see on mine is that uh, the fit and finish for that cost is actually very good. Um, so, right off, uh, these are made in China. Um, they sport the same type of materials, they're 8CR13 MOV for the blade steel. They have uh, solid steel liners for the handles and then the handles themselves have a G10 scale that is uh, bolstered with carbon fiber. Like I said, for uh, 50 bucks and $25, that's pretty good materials. They do weigh a little bit, um, but they're not bad for me and uh, you know I, I like big blades anyway. The Kirby Lambert has about uh, about a three and five eighths inch blade, and the the Catch Dog by Lightfoot is just a hair over four inches. I will say that um, something that's very cool about buying these types of knives is one you can just thrash the hell out of them and not really worry about it. It's not a lot of money that uh, you know you're throwing away essentially. But uh, what it also does is if you really like this design, then I think it's a good indicator for you to potentially get uh, one of these models as a custom from the actual uh, collaborating maker, in this case being uh, Kirby Lambert or Greg Lightfoot. And uh, I will tell you that the Shockwave is actually a really nice knife that I like using. Um, I really like the hollow grind and uh, some cutting like car cardboard and stuff like that. Man, I tell you what, I would run through it and then right at the end, give a little push and uh, man, that cardboard would just pop right off. You see a little bit of the scratches just because uh, the steel is a little bit softer. But overall, when you look at this knife, and you look at the details it's uh... it's executed pretty well it has a deep rod pocket clip on this one and overall I really just I really like this model and uh... I can definitely see myself getting a a custom Lambert in the future sometime let me just show you here the uh... joining of the bolster and carbon fiber with that G10. Not perfect, but uh, better than some of the ones I've seen. And that's a discussion that's uh, you know been around for a couple years now when we started seeing a lot more of the uh, knives being made out of China. Is, you know, quality could be hit or miss. So I guess the, the thing to do, if you can, is actually try and uh, see these in person before you buy them. I bought these online. You can see those liners. Nice and smooth. Opens up real nice. Real quick. So let's put that one down. This is a beast right here. You can see it's a, a very large handle. You can choke up to here. You can move up into this finger groove here. What's really nice is this uh, Ricasso area and kind of a flat soil. Allows you to just really get right up next to it. This one has a recurve with a Tonto tip. Not really a, a secondary point here. It's uh, much more round as you can see. Still pretty cool. Very stout tip. An asymmetrical swedge there at the top and uh, 
I think this is about the only knife I have that actually has a thumb disc opener. Um, it works really well though too. Flies right open. I like the way uh, this one opens. You can definitely feel the weight difference with the uh, shock wave. Just this blade is massive. It's like four and a half millimeters thick on this one. Whereas uh, the shock wave is a much more reasonable. I think this one is three, three millimeters on the shock wave. This one, beast. A little bit of a funky clip, but not too bad. It holds it in there. Let me take a look at this one. The, the gap on the bolsters is a little more, but again, not too bad. Thick edge on this one, too. Now, I could get this one through cardboard, but it uh, it was definitely not a slicer. This uh, this would equate to a sharpened pry bar, in my opinion. Right. So there it is. Um, if you got an opportunity, I would say go ahead, spend the money, and, and check them out. They're really good quality. I think they will uh, make some very good uh, EDCs for a lot of people. Maybe a little on the larger side, but uh, if that type of weight and size doesn't bother you, I think this is an excellent value and something that everybody should uh, explore in their knife collection. If you got any questions or comments, you know the deal. Leave them below.